Hey guys, and uh, after I made the last video on mechanism uh, automation, I thought that I should probably expand on that a little bit and uh, you know show you how the oxygen gets into the gas tanks for running the purification chambers. And so what I've done over here is uh, the wiring is admittedly bad, but um, what I've done is I've set up an electrolytic separator, and that's pumping the oxygen uh, and the oxygen side is red, hydrogen is blue. Um, that's pumping the oxygen into the gas tank and then the gas tank is feeding it into the purification chamber. And um, if I walk around, this is lagging out a little bit, um, if I walk around here you can see that the hydrogen is going to a hydrogen generator. All this obviously is all from mechanism and that's being used to power my basic energy cube. So now you can see I essentially have a very efficient uh, setup for processing ores that powers itself. And I'm going to show you how I did that. Um, this is a bit easier than the other uh, setup that we did. Um, so get started. You want um, the water input on the electrolytic separator is the side with the tanks. The output is the side with um, the output is the side is our you know either side and the back uh, can be used for power and I think it can output uh, one of the two gases but I'm not I it's not the way I usually do it so um, then we need power to that so we'll pull off our little power network here and go over to that. Oh, and it's nighttime. So you can watch me kill a zombie. There we go. Um, now, here, uh, now I need to set up a pump. So we've got mechanical pipes from Mechanism, which are the equivalent of build Buildcraft fluid pipes. Uh, they are only for transferring fluids. And then you have the pump, which the pump you want to place like this and the reason for that is the reason for that is that the pumps power input is this uh, that interface over there this interface is the power input so now the pump has power. You can see it's sucking water from the infinite water source, and um, we'll use the we'll finish hooking up the mechanical pipes. The pipes uh, pipe interface is the top, or the the pumps pipe interface is the top. Uh, so as you can see now, there's fluid moving through the pipes into the electrolytic separator. Now we need to now we can take the oxygen side of this which is this one here, the red side, and we can just feed that over to our gas tank. Pretty straightforward. Like that. And now you can see it's filling up with oxygen. And now I'm going to jump out of here. And now for the rest of the setup, we're going to grab our hydrogen generator, put that over here close to the mechanism one, and hook it up to the mechanisms, one of the input faces. The universal, or the basic energy cubes uh, have only one output and every other face is an input. I believe that can be changed but don't quote me on that. Did I place this down wrong? Yes, I did. So the energy output on the generator is the side that has the little computer terminal looking thing. And I don't really want this to hook up the mach to the machines, so maybe I'll do it there like that. Oh, still hooked into the network directly. Don't want to do that. I guess I'm just going to have to, uh, I won't be able to set this one up exactly like the other one due to space issues. No, I can't put that there either. Like there, alright. 
well, this turned into a much longer video than it needed to be. Um, so there we've got the or the hydrogen generator set up, and now we just need to take and use some pressurized tubes to get the uh, get the hydrogen output side over to the hydrogen generator and I don't even know if I'm going to have enough tubes here to do this but we will find out and the I don't believe it matters where it's where the pressurized tube to, tube is piped into the uh, hydrogen generator I know I've done it on the back side and I now now I've done it on the top and you can see it works just fine now we have hydrogen being pumped in, power being generated, and that's how you do it. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.